Now we're going to start a new project to draw a character to draw a character and begin animating. What I've done here is opened up Adobe Photoshop Elements and I will first add a layer, select light blue as a color and draw some lines across the screen to represent the ground plane where the character will stand and do all of his action. Click on another layer. This will be the layer for the character himself. So here we will draw a quick circle for the head, bisect it, rough in a place for some eyes to, to be placed, maybe some eyebrows, a little bitty nose, and a smile of course. Now let's put on some ears here, We might see the other ear a tiny bit on that side. Here's the back line for his spine. Here's the rest of his body. A little circle for a belt. And now we add the legs coming right out like this. Put the feet on here. Same perspective as the, the ground plane. Add some arms with hands, very fast, keeping everything very loose and fast. Maybe a little bit of hair. Now let's add another layer. And back on this layer, let's tone down the opacity, highlight the next layer up. And now on this layer, we will do a small anticipation, which in this case will be, he will turn his head slightly in the opposite direction. And his features will be looking down a bit. So here's his ear. He will close his eyes. Eyebrows go down. This is an anticipation drawing. A little cute nose there, and his mouth turns up. His whole body's gonna turn. His arms come up. Other arm up like this. Here's where his arms connect in. Let's add another layer. Take this opacity down so we can see through it better. Turn off the first layer. And now he will turn around shocked up on tiptoes. And he leans back in shock. His hands forward like that. His eyes will be stretched. His mouth open like this. Here's the line bisecting his head, ear, his hair goes like that. Here I pick a darker color so I can actually see where I want his mouth to be in his teeth. Because everything just blends in at some point. Stretch out his head. Now here we can actually put his arms a little bit lower so he can actually see his neck is stretching. And I've got his arms actually bending down a little bit. And a little 
darkness on his ear. Eyebrows are worried. He's a little bit scared. We can stretch his body out even more. And we could have him actually leave the ground and jump up in the air a little bit. That's the top of his shoe there. This is the sole of his shoe here. Now, if you want to get rid of stuff that you don't like, just erase it off. Get rid of some of this rough stuff here. That way you and other people can see exactly what you have in mind and they don't have to guess, well, what's going on here? You don't want other people or yourself confused at some later stage in this project. You may wind up doing the cleanup. You may wind up handing it out to someone else and let them do the cleanup. So clarity is always important. So there we have that drawing, opacity down, Add a layer and now we can do the next pose go back to our light blue color to do that and we can actually have them go up a bit higher so that this turns into kind of a Tex Avery take This is the bottom of his head now. His nose is straight up. You can draw bottom of his eye and he's still looking down. We can't quite see the other eye too much. We see his eyebrows. And now we can make it so his mouth is actually yelling. And there's the shape of the mouth. We see his teeth in perspective. And there's his tongue and his bottom teeth. We'll color all that in. And now we might want to put his arm up in the air and it's away from us in perspective. This arm up in the air this way. We'll follow a line from his arm down here to his feet. Past the sole of the shoe. This one is more towards us, so we can make it slightly bigger. And this is the sole of his shoe. Click on a darker color, and then we can describe where the bottom of his pants are. The outline, which is most important. Getting the silhouette to show exactly what, what he's doing. So there you have it, a really fast action. And our next step will be to put this into Adobe Premiere. Stay tuned for part two.